Swimming pools were filled with mud, and the worst area was along Munts Canyon Road on the north side of the valley. Now, this area was also impacted by the firehouse in 2013. Powerhouse fire rather in 2013. K Caroline's Peter Doubt is live in Leona Valley tonight where the situation is still serious. Peter. Susie, normally this is a small dry creek here in the Leona Valley, but just a few hours ago, water came all the way up to where I'm standing. This is now caked in mud very deep. You can still see water gushing through right now. I just spoke with fire officials. They say they are still assessing the damage and will close several roads here throughout the night. Debris flowing out of control over slopes that drought and wildfires have stripped of vegetation. The swift mud and water claiming property both small and large, including this boat. Nia Glenn says she had only minutes to rescue nearly 20 horses when her ranch began to flood. We went to pull them out immediately. Uh, within 45 seconds, the water even became three feet higher. But you can imagine my horse was getting ready to jump into my arms. Flash flooding in northern LA County destroyed property, trapped cars, and stranded drivers. Danny Cueto took these cell phone photos of some of the vehicles he says he and his friend pulled to safety. Tons of vehicles, um, three to feet, uh, covered in dirt and mud, actually. Um, I remember I grabbed a piece of wood from a picket fence and started digging out under the bumpers. Firefighters rescued several people, the rain and hail eventually giving way to a massive rainbow, a sign of hope after an exhausting day. I've been out here for 24 years now, and I've never seen this much water in 24 years. You really can't tell how fast that's moving and how safe it is. Back out here live, crews have already started to clean up this muddy mess. I just spoke with fire officials who say they are still going to keep these roads closed throughout the night, but incredibly, no one was hurt in all these rescues today. So that's the good news. Susie Nelsa. That is certainly good.